Welcome, and today you are sitting in on the open brain dissection of Colton Jones. Today we are going to be exploring three main areas of the brain that make Colton into the man that he is. The first area of the brain we will explore is the temporal lobe, the lobe associated with facial recognition and family. The second area of the brain we will look into is the amygdala, the area of the brain that controls our emotions. And the third and final area of the brain that we will look into is the prefrontal cortex, which controls higher level thinking and decision making. Taking a look into Colton's temporal lobe, we can see the area of his brain associated with facial recognition. Colton's temporal lobe allows him to quickly recognize the faces of his loved ones. He was an Iowa native, born and raised in Council Bluffs, surrounded by his loving family. His loving family consists of his sister Mackenzie and his grandmother Hazel Jean, his father Greg, and not pictured here, his second family, Robbie and Sophia Cooper, as well as his brother, Shannon. Colton keeps his family very near and dear to his heart, or as we see here, his temporal lobe. Moving on, we can see the amygdala, the area of our brain associated with our emotions. The amygdala is a small line of bean shaped area of the brain thought to be a part of our limbic system, the system that controls our emotions. As you can see, the we are gonna examine how the neurons in Colton's amygdala react to his passions and interests. Colin is a very well-rounded student. His, his passions lie in many different areas of interest. Colton is a member of the ALHS football team. Football has been a part of Colton's life for as long as he can remember. Football allows him to expand his family with the connections he makes on the field. As well as an inspiring athlete, Colton is an avid lover of the arts. When he can't be found, tearing it up on the football field or blasting enemies off the battlefield in a video game, of course, he can be found at his sketchbook. Art is a major part of Colton's life. He finds the inspirations for the thing he draws in his everyday life. Aside from the extracurriculars of life, Colton's favorite subject in school is science, a theme that we will see throughout the rest of his life later on in the dissection. Moving forward into the brain, we can find Colton's prefrontal cortex, the area of the brain associated with decision making. As you can see, the neurons in this area of the brain are firing rapidly. That is due to the explosive plans and aspirations that Colin has for the future. Colin hopes to attend the University of Iowa in the pursuit of becoming a doctor. Becoming a doctor is a huge commitment, but Colin is sure that his prefrontal cortex has led him down the right path. Above his all other mentioned passions, Colin's main passion in life is helping those in need. He hopes to one day help those people in our addictions suffering from addiction, those people in our society suffering from addiction. He hopes to make major plays in the field of the medical world in the areas of drug research. Now that we have gone through the brain of Colton Jones, I'm sure you can all agree that he's a very admirable person, although not as admirable as the dog he looks most up to in life, Henry Cooper. Now that the dissection has concluded, we will provide you with a brief recap of everything we've learned. First, we looked into the temporal lobe, where we saw his family, his sister Mackenzie, his grandmother Hazel Jean, his father Greg, his Second family, Robbie and Sophia Cooper, as well as his brother, Shannon. Second, we looked into his amygdala, where we saw the heart of Colton's passions, from the football field, to the medical field, to the easel. And third and finally, we saw his prefrontal cortex, where we learned about his plans for the future, his great aspirations to becoming a doctor. Now that dissection has concluded, I hope you all have a better understanding of your new friend, Colton Jones.